I have not seen a filter collapse on itself from picking up so much crap. Dude, look at, I mean, look, it's like coned in on these. No, it's yeah. for sure collapsed from the vacuum. That is nuts. That thing, uh. Robbing horsepowers right there. That thing was definitely burning up some horsepowers. Oh, oh. Spitting fire out here, dude. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Far on YouTube channel. Can I get a clap one time? Really synced the audio nicely with that one. Ladies and gents, today, the mystery of the mystery machine is revealed. A lot of you guys been asking, Cleet, where is the mystery machine? What's happening with it? And today we're gonna answer those questions. If you guys don't know what this sucker is, this is basically a, oh, Dr. Tunamall pulling up in the building. Essentially, I bought this van off of Facebook Marketplace and we put a turbo rotary engine in it so this thing has a precision turbo down there you can see got a rotary engine in here and uh it's actually american flag colors as you can see it's a little dirty in there but this thing puts out about 600 horsepower and we turned it into the ultimate crazy little burnout ripper van that's the only way to put yeah. it so it escalated quickly we bought it kind of just on a whim for fun and then we decided hell it's uh to make it do a really good burnout so it was really fun with the stock engine but now it's 600 horsepower it's flat out dangerous and awesome but it hasn't been started in several several months it has not ran since burnout rivals which was back in i think like august or something i don't even remember yeah, it was a long time ago since the burnout rivals pay-per-view this thing hasn't ran last time it was used is when cooper did his burnout during burnout rivals which was epic he actually blew out the window and wall tapped it back here you can see a little wall tab damage lost a little bit of the the back of the the van but no big deal so now that you guys are up to date on what this car is if you're not familiar with it already we're going to talk about its future its future here at the channel and what's going to happen with the mystery machine as you guys know we built this thing around here for cooper to do burnouts in and i did pay for the entire build because it was totally for the channel bought the van paid for the engine turbo putting the whole thing together now coop doesn't work here offered hey maybe does he want to buy the van didn't seem real interested in the van, no hard feelings, so we're keeping her in the fleet. Obviously, it had to stay a part of Cleason cars either way, but now it's up to us to get this thing back up and running, and there is quite a few things that we need to change on it. So first and foremost, I wanna talk about the radiator placement. Looking back, I would have never put that radiator there. Now, it does have AN lines on it, so it's got pretty tough radiator lines. Luckily, we never had an issue where, say, this radiator cap blew off and could have easily scolded the driver because, as you guys know, last year we had an incident at one of the burnout events where a driver in a burnout car was burned badly by his radiator water. In fact, Parker, who was burned at the event, just went back to work for the first time last Monday. So, been in touch with him throughout the entire process. I'm not gonna lie, that guy had to overcome a lot of problems, issues. I mean, getting burned is a crazy thing to go through. And I gotta give a shout out to my boy Parker for overcoming, battling through that. And he is now officially back at work. He just came out to the Freedom Factory about three weeks ago. I went for a drive with him and his fiance in the Galaxy and things like that. So I've seen him quite a bit through some stages of this. and. I'm telling you, you gotta be one tough M effort to go through the things that that guy did. So being that all this has happened, we have learned our lesson and having the radiator this close to the driver is just flat out dangerous. And we're blessed that we never had any incidents with this setup. That being said, the first order of operations here is we are going to be creating a firewall, moving the radiator, and that will shield the driver from not only the fuel tank, but the radiator and we'll probably have to move the battery back as well but then that it goes even further because as you've seen these seats you can access the engine pretty easily so what we're gonna have to do is seal off the top of these engine bay access points we're gonna put a kirky in here and then james you're even thinking a roll cage yeah thinking um just a secure way because when you put a fixed back aluminum seat you have to have a rear mount to it so yeah we'll do like your basic main hoop harness bar seat mount maybe like two down bars just to keep it to where if there is a rollover it doesn't crush this in on you yep you know keep it real simple like a simple six point or you know four point roll bar style easy. setup be able to mount everything properly ty can probably knock that out in a couple days yeah easy be easy you know, so we got the bender and notcher now so i know we can build real fab shop we want the real fab, fab shop 2021 is moving on <laughs> so as far as that stuff it's time consuming but it should be pretty simple the engine's in good shape However, for the heater core, basically the heater line, there's two plugs that cover the heater lines that come off the block. Those plugs are missing, Cooper did inform me. So 
this thing did drain its coolant last time it did a burnout it's got no coolant in it right now we got to fix those and cap those off good uh back here coop did buy some different wheels for this thing he wanted a bigger tire but this was the wrong wheel so he's got it flipped inside out so you can see like the wheel got wallowed out it messed up the studs a little bit but hopefully we can still just slap on these stock tires and we'll just run those for like houston which back here you can see a little bit of damage from a wall tap that coop did was stoked on the wall tab did bust out the window which we'll maybe just cover up with something no big deal on that just to keep the elements out but the trunk and everything's still open so that's pretty good and then we do have the door for the other side other than that the only issue i can think of would be the starter button is bad we got to get coolant and well, we're dialed pretty quick too. oh yeah the never had a working alternator on it the one mm -hmm. they brought us was like they were like hey this this might work or might not 50 50 didn't work and we got the short end of that 50 <laughs> so it didn't work okay. so that's easy alternator though. configuration and we got the belt thing finally sorted in a bracket the alternator itself just doesn't charge so we just got to get it charging with yep. a new one and uh other than that it's pretty much there mechanically okay you know those well, rubber caps we had on the coolant thing too we can do something where we can drill and tap put a plug or maybe just weld the barbs and pop yeah. them back in get rid of the rubber cap ordeal so there's no way it can actually yeah you know exit all its coolant so now that we have the people up to date should we try and fire this thing up it's been yeah. several months i mean to run burnout rivals i'm pretty sure it was august or something it's been a long yeah, time it's been a while i can't remember the date for some reason might have been april honestly <laughs> <laughs> we don't even remember guys this We've whole year has been a blur <laughs> so it's been i think it's been well over six months i don't know maybe Solid, more yeah. so getting close to a year so we're gonna fire this sucker <laughs> up right now the starter button's broke but james has a trusty uh yeah, my trusty starter for little pry bar starter. no this is a starter rod oh okay no longer a pry bar we use it to start stuff. there you go yeah, it's gonna take a while i mean you don't even have to sit in there a little van. <laughs> Dude, you look kind of nice in there i don't feel nice in here it's gonna take a while Jeez, James, what you got going in there? Hold that thing down. Oh, oh! Spitting fire out here, dude. Goodness gracious. Come on, brother. You got it. Hold on, let me squirt some brake clean in the, uh, let me pull the filter off. In the turbine I'm gonna spray some brake clean in the turbine housing. Dude, the, the filter is collapsing from getting so dirty and trying to pull air in. Yeah, we ditched that where we're going. <laughs> I think we need it judging by how dirty it is. Right, hold on, let me get some brake clean. J2, all right. Two foot this thing if you're breaking it's kind of tough, right? You gotta weld the clutch and brake pedal together. Yeah, you're good. It's got no coolant in it. Dude, Nate looks huge in there. <laughs> this thing uh, started right up though. Yeah. I mean, that's just the freaking, this rotary has impressed the hell out of me. I gotta say the Vargas boys were saying these things are more reliable than people were thinking and they were right. It's kind of like an LS motor. The more you beat it, the more reliable it gets. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty impressed by that. So the next order of business guys is getting some of this stuff fixed and then we got to put it back on the dyno check the tune up because obviously the engine is a lot more broken in than it used to be but it really has not been driven that much i mean aside from three maybe four big burnouts it hasn't seen that many miles so i want to get it back on the dyno as these engines break in they make a lot more compression things like that we'll get a little bit of the stuff fixed here and there and then uh time for another big burnout we're less than a month away from uh the next 
big burnout event. So we gotta get this sucker dialed in. We got some work to do. We will get it there, get the firewall in, things like that. And off to Houston, this sucker goes. Like I said, dude, rent from PFI speed. Can you guys think of a better driver for this? I really don't think we can, so. He's about one of our only friends that'll fit. Yeah. You know, so. Not only will he fit great, He's just a, he's, he's a wheel a man. Savage. He's gonna yeah. send. He's gonna there's, send. There's nobody else that's gonna do it. Like it that. might bend the frame, you know. I mean, I think he bent the frame on bat rod last time. Might bend the frame on the mystery machine. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.